Hello stampers and crafters. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today's card is this one. It is a beautiful congratulations card made using the Stipple Roses bundle from Stampin' Up! So if you want to see how to create this card, please keep watching. So all week long, I've been using the Stippled Roses bundle to show you some cards and crafts. Take a look at my blog, sassypapercrafts.com, to see the other projects I made. I did want to show you where to find this bundle. It is on page 64 of the new January to April Stampin' Up! mini catalog. So this is the bundle. These are the sample projects. You save 10% by getting the stamp and dies together. And if you look, the bundle is... $54, which now until February 29th, we have celebration happening. So for $54, you would get a level one free item. So I would pick the softly stippled 12 by 12 designer series paper, which is free with a $50 purchase and coordinates with this bundle, which I've also been using all week long. This is some of that beautiful paper right there. You can see all the sheets there it does come in 12 by 12 it is a beautiful paper or you could pick any of the other free with a 50 dollars purchase products when you purchase that bundle don't forget to use january's host code and get freebies from me this month so let's get started on our card it is fairly easy to do i am using several products to see all the products i use get all the measurements for all the papers Click the first link in the description of this video. It will take you right to this blog post. And also, if you need a mini catalog or a celebration catalog and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be happy to send you a catalog. Just click the request a catalog link in the description of this video. Let's start with our stamping. It's very simple. All we have is this little strip here. And I need a scrap piece of paper right here for our leaf. That's it for stamping. It's really easy, so that way I can put my ink away. We're going to be using two of the stamps from the Stippled Roses stamp set. We're going to be using the sleeve here and the congratulations. And we're also going to be using four of the dies. I'm going to get those out. We're going to be cutting out the leaf, so we need that. We're also going to be using this leaf here, these flowers, and these flowers. So I'm going to get all that out just so I have it ready when I need it. Now let's do our stamping. One ink color is all we need. I have pebbled path here. So this is kind of a larger stamp. I'm just going to take the ink pad right to it. I don't want to close it yet. I will set it on my card. I know that's dangerous, but I'm living on the edge. And since we're die cutting this, it really doesn't matter what way it goes or if it's perfect or not. Looks good to me. I'm going to move that. Now we can do our sentiment. Just like that. And that's it for stamping. Super quick. So now we're going to do a little bit of die cutting and a little bit of dry embossing. So for the die cuts, I have Coastal Cabana, Pool Party, Pebbled Path, which I don't have out. I'll have to get. So I'm going to use um, Pool Party for these more like tulipy looking flowers and the more pointed flowers I'm going to use coastal cabana and then pebbled path for the leaves and then I'm going to die cut that and then I do have a piece of basic white that I'm going to run through the stamp and cut and emboss machine using the exposed brick 3d embossing folder so I'm going to do all my die cutting and embossing and then we'll be able to put our card together so now that everything is die cut, we're ready to put our card together. So the little flower dies do cut out six pieces. I'm only going to be using five. You can pick which ones you want. You can use all six, however you'd like to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of seal. and I'm going to stick down our big leaves here. And I'm going to make sure the stem kind of comes out towards the bottom because we're going to be covering that up with our sentiment. Next, I'm going to take a few glue dots and my take your pick tool. And what I like to do a lot of times is roll that out and then I can just stick my flowers right on there because they're all going to be stuck down with a glue dot. 
just like that. And then I can rip that off and set it to the side. Now I know where all my pieces are. But I'm going to take a glue dot, peel that up, stick it about there. And this is for this piece. And I'm just going to kind of overlap those stems because I know that's going to get covered up. Whoops. Now we can randomly place our flowers. Just take your pick tool. Knew I wasn't done with it yet. And then put one on top of there. Another one. Kind of overlapping it a little bit. This one up there. And I kind of try to put these in like the bare spots of this stem here. This kind of shows through, just moving that a little bit. And I can throw that piece away. Now I'm done with the take your pick tool. And we can get some, oh wait, not yet. I have a piece of the stippled, softly stippled designer series paper. I'm going to use the banners pick a punch. I'm just going to slide that in. Flip it over and make sure it's even. And then I get a nice little banner out of that. You could also just cut it with your scissors. I am not that crafty, so I need to use the, the punch in order to do it. And I just put a little bit of seal on that. And put it right up to that edge. And we're going to put dimensionals on the back of these. I'm out of dimensionals, so I'm just going to cut the uh, edge of the dimensionals. They're sticky. They work just the same. And before we put this down, I want to get some ribbon. This is the Pebbled Path textured ribbon. And I just kind of eyeball it. I always try to cut at an angle just so the next time I use it, if I want to use an angle, there it is. I'm going to put some seal along the back of this. And I do recommend seal for this card over the liquid glue especially just for this panel even, or tear and tape, something that you could stick your ribbon to. Stick my ribbon right here, wrap it around, and then we can put this on our piece of basic white. And then I'm going to stick this down with some seal. And I kind of slid it under the ribbon a little bit, but I put the leaves kind of on top. So if you can do that, great. <laughs> if you're having trouble like me, I get it. I'm going to slide that in there, just like that. And then we can stick this to our card base and put our sentiment on. So I have a pebbled path card base here. I'm just going to fold that in half. Stick that down. Again, all the measurements are on my blog. It's that first link in the description of this video. It'll take you right to the projects page. Everything I use is there. And again, I just want to cover up those stems. So I'm going to place it. It's kind of wonky too. So I want to make sure I straighten that out a little bit. And I wanted to put, make sure some of that exposed brick is just showing. And then for our inside, I have a piece of basic white and a strip of that designer series paper. Ooh. Almost got sealed where I didn't want it. And I'm just going to put a little bit of seal. Liquid glue would work great for this part, just because if you're not good at eyeballing, it gives you a little more time to mess with it. Put some seal on the back of this, maybe. And then to finish our card, I have some of the Fasted Gems from the Fasted Gems Trio Pack. And I used all three colors. Well, no, I used two colors. I used these, the darker ones here and the blue, but this one we're going to use all three, I think. Pop one there. And just wherever you get like a bare spot, you want to add some bling. And that is our card. So I hope you enjoy talking about the 
stippled roses. I have a hard time with that word. I don't know if it's stippled or stippled. I think it's stippled though. The stippled roses bundle. Um, again, to see more projects with that bundle, head over to my blog. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.